So if you're a beginner or intermediate in video editing, or you've just been looking to get into content creation, if you've watched either Iman or Hamza's videos, you've probably noticed a specific text effect that they often use throughout them. So if you're looking to implement this effect into your own videos to make them more engaging, and you want a way to do it for free, I'm going to show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editor. And if you use another editor like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, any of those other editors, then you can just follow along too because the process is pretty similar. Also, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer. I probably won't be able to find the exact videos, the exact effects that Iman and Hamza and those other YouTubers who use that specific text effect. I mean, they do different variations of it, but I probably won't be able to find the exact ones, but I'll probably be able to show you something that looks pretty similar to it. Also, I just want to say that Iman, Hamza, for those videos, they spend a lot of money on their editors, so they're going to have access to effects that might not be free or might not be accessible to the public. So the way to do this for free is you go on this stock footage website called Pexels, and um, what you do is you filter for videos instead of photos and just search up VHS background. You can also search up things like glitch background. There's other keywords that you can use, but I'm just going to use this keyword for now. There's uh, a couple of these people who post on Pexels who make these really cool backgrounds that you can use for this text effect. I like this guy, uh, Luis, for example. You can click on his profile too. Um, it's going to take some time to find when he posted the backgrounds because he posts a lot of pictures so you might have to like filter for stuff like popularity you might be able to find some of the stuff but yeah it's going to be pretty hard you might have to scroll all the way down he has a lot of stuff but anyway i like taking like one of these uh, this is a very good background also this one i really like this one so just download a background for this i'm going to use this for the first example and i'm going to import it to davinci resolve okay so yeah, just click don't change. Okay, so here you have your video. So for the first example, I'm gonna to try to replicate this effect from Hamza's video. Okay, so then what you wanna do is put the text on. Use a custom title or use a, use a text plus effect. Just put that on there, drag it all the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna play through this clip really quick. And it is lower quality because I put the playback mode on lower quality. If your DaVinci Resolve is giving you problems with lag, what you can actually do is go to playback here, timeline proxy resolution, and then put it onto quarter. Uh, and this will make a low resolution in the playback. But if you export uh, with this thing, it won't actually matter. You can export it, it will export at the same quality that you have it on your project settings. Um, this is just going to affect this little window here. Okay, so this is the clip. This is how to make a text effect like Demon Gaji and Honda. Okay, so I have that clip. So what I'm gonna do is, if I was editing this like an actual video, I'm going to cut this, drag this over. Um, if we can actually get rid of this. You can right click, unlink clip, and delete this sound because it's not actually adding anything. Okay, adjust the video. Put the text on top like so. Cut it again, delete this part. And by the way, to cut video, it's Control B. So now that we have this title, what I'm gonna do is change it to a good font. So I personally like using um, this font. I don't know how to pronounce it, to be honest, but I like using this and then going to black. I think it fits pretty well. Uh, if you don't have this font already, you probably should have this font, but if you don't, you can always go on Google Fonts or Defont. There's a bunch of font websites you can uh, look for fonts on and uh, just look up a tutorial on YouTube for that. It's pretty simple. Okay, so... All right, so the first word is this. So I'll just, in all caps, write this, right? And I would press, this is very important. So at the very start of the clip, you wanna press this little keyframe right here. And then, so you would make sure that you're very accurate with listening to the sound. It might lag a little bit for you, so. This. And then you want to have the next word just like maybe one frame before you say uh, the next word. It doesn't have to be exact. And then you can just type is, this is. Let me go back. And you can read the waveform a little bit. You can see when you're saying what word. How. And by the way, when I when I went to the beginning here and I clicked this little keyframe, that means every time I go forward in time and I change the word, it's going to change the uh, 
it's going to also change and add a new keyframe. Uh, it's not like other keyframes in DaVinci Resolve. It changes um, the split second that you change the keyframe. So like if I went over here and I changed the word to how in lowercase, then it would stay as how in uppercase and then change right when I um, put the keyframe. So then let me go back to this keyframe and I can just click it again to get rid of it. So then let me do this for the rest of the clip. You guys don't really need to see this part, so I'll just speed this process up. Okay, so once you have this, I'm just gonna play it through so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Uh, you could actually use this for your video. That's completely fine. So you can make this text effect a little bit fancier if you want to. And what you wanna do is go to open effects right here in this bottom menu. If you don't have this open, it's gonna be up here. You just click this effects thing. And then you just look up something called wavy, oh, waviness. Okay, so you just wanna drag it onto the text node. And right now you can see it's a little too much. What I like to do, um, Turn down the scale a little bit. I feel like it's a little too much. 10 should be about good. And turn down the strength to... You can raise the phase up a little bit. Lower the speed a little bit. And like you can see it's moving around a little bit. Again, you can change it to horizontal. You get a little bit different of effect or you can uh, turn up the scale a little bit so it's a little more wavy like that. And you can mess around with this. I actually kind of like this setting. You can copy the setting that I have right here. And it kind of goes up and down like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now what you can do to make this actually even better is just highlight these two things right here. Highlight these two. Um, and what you can do is just highlight the text and the video together. Uh, and the VHS background together. What you can do is actually highlight the video and the VHS background together, and then right click on it, click new compound clip, just click create. And what this is going to do is just smush it together. Um, so it's just one clip. And then you can have this clip selected and add a keyframe on the zoom. And then at the end of the video, at the end of it, just zoom in ever so slightly like so. And now it will kind of be more dramatic. Okay, so my camera just died, but I want to keep recording this video. I'm just going to continue, so sorry if my audio is a little bit worse. Okay, so for the next example, I'm going to do one that uh, Iman Gaji usually uses. And again, on Pexels, I looked up which background. I really think Pexels is probably the best uh, the best website to find these backgrounds. You can scroll down. There's actually some really good ones here. Uh, you can also find it on YouTube. If you look the same keywords up on YouTube, you could probably find some pretty good ones or even in um, some plugins that you can put in DaVinci Resolve. But for now, I'm just gonna use Pexels. And I actually really like this background. I'm gonna use this for more of like an Iman style text effect. I'm gonna download this really quickly. Okay, so I have the clip now. It actually comes with a pretty cool sound effect if you wanna hear it. So I'm gonna just drag it over here. And so I'm just gonna disable this text effect for now because it's making it lag. But then what you can do is just select this clip, hold alt, drag, it will just copy it really easy. I get to the correct time, open up the text effect again. Uh, what you need to do is go into effects. I don't want this effect anymore, so I'm just going to click the trash icon, or if you want, you can just turn it off and back on. Uh, for now, I'm just going to delete it. What you want to do is, uh, in video, you want to go to settings, scroll down like this, and move it to around here, and what you just want to do is go to composite. You can try all of these. These are really cool effects. You can go through all of them, see which one looks best. Uh, I'm going to try exclusion. Let's see how this one looks. Exclusion. This is how to make a text effect like Iman Gaji and Hamza. What I actually did to make it this kind of effect, I went to title and I changed the color to orange. And then I went back to settings on linear dodge and you can mess around with all of all of these effects and i'm just going to show you one more example okay so again i'm going to go to pixels i'm going to download this one 
what you want to do is uh, delete this, go back to titles, look at this custom title again. Again, I'm going to use this font because I like it. You can use whatever font you want. And I'm going to take word this. This is how this, when I say this, it ends around here. And what I'm going to do is uh, make a simple pop in effect. So what you want to do is go to layout and you want to put a keyframe on the size. So you see the size right here. Put a keyframe and make sure at the very beginning or the first frame, like if it's over here, make sure you're on the first frame of the text. You want to just put a keyframe on, on the size. Now go forward two frames by pressing the arrow key. If you press the right arrow key once, it will go forward a frame. And if you press it left, it will go backwards a frame. So once you go forward two frames, and what you want to do is put the size up to 1.2 and then go forward one more frame and make the size 1.15 okay now you get this pop in effect this is how you can see it's a very subtle pop in effect now what you want to do is hold alt make sure it's selected hold alt drag and you can just drag it for every single word so i'm going to speed this process up um, this is pretty similar to what I did before, but you just have to make sure each of these clips is in line with the word that you say. Okay, so I just finished the effect, so let's see how it looks. This is how to make a text effect like Iman Gaji and Hamza. Okay, so it's lagging a little bit, but I'm pretty sure you can see what the effect looks like. And hopefully this helped you guys. Make sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments, uh, any other videos that you want me to make. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the video on the screen because YouTube wants you to watch this next.